This video is to help you with unstable or fluctuating weight on a floor scale. So the first thing you should do is check the wiring of the load cells. So you have your four corners, each with their own load cells. The feet will screw in. So make sure the feet are attached and what it screws into is the load cell. So you should find the plate with two screws. This is a two foot by two foot, but you can find four foot by four foot, five foot by five foot. They all work the same. First, you unscrew these two screws and remove the plate. I remove the two screws from this plate, lift the plate up, and inside, you'll notice a junction box. This is the overhead view of how this compartment looks like. You'll notice you'll see a junction box. You'll see four black cables, one for each load cell, and the gray cable that comes out of it. That is for your connector that connects to your 902 indicator or OP900. Now that you're at the junction box, you'll notice there's four screws. We're gonna now check the wiring by removing these screws. You'll notice how the junction box, I remove the four screws. It is not important if you have four connectors total or six or nine the junction box should unscrew and should be able to remove the plate. And you should see this green board called the J card. You have checked that all the wiring is correct. These are four for each load cell in each corner. And the fifth one will be that goes to the indicator. Now we'll check the wiring. Notice you have five cables on each one. These are a set of five cables. So the red one, it's excitation positive, delivering the power. Black is ground. The green cable, signal positive. The white cable is the signal negative. And the white, clear, or yellow. In this case, this one's yellow. This one is white, clear. This would be the shield cable. So now gently tug on each cable, one by one. And make sure there's no loose cables. You'll now do this for all four of these. For each corner of the load cell. And this was the home run cable that goes to your indicator. You'll check this one as well and make sure none of these are loose. It'll be the same, excitation positive, black is ground, green signal negative positive, white is signal negative, and yellow is a shield. If you do notice one of the cables is loose, you will have to get a mini flathead screwdriver and make sure the wire is all the way in, screw in. So this would be an example of a loose cable. This could cause an unstable weight. So you gotta make sure it's in the proper spot. This one says shield, and you plug it in. You put it in the hole, make sure you loosen it, tightening counterclockwise. Make sure the cable is all the way in, where the metal, it's not sticking out. And then you will turn the screw clockwise to tighten the cable. Don't force it, just go gently with a screwdriver. Eventually you'll notice it won't turn anymore. This is a closer look on the markings on the J card itself. So you'll notice the clear has shield, the white will have signal negative, green, signal positive, the black will be excitation or EX negative, and the red will be EX positive. Make sure they're all in the correct order for every single one. You notice how they're all in the correct order. I tugged on all the cables and they're all in there good. That should help with fluctuating weight. So you have tested the wiring inside the floor scale and there's no loose cables. Now we'll try the corner test. So turn your indicator on and grab a weight. It could be any weight, but the more the better. And now place the weight on the corner. So this is my upper left corner. And you can see it's 22 pound weight, that's good. Now take your weight and place it on another corner, upper right corner, write it down, 
So upper left corner, upper right corner. This is how much weight it showed up. Upper right corner, this much weight, lower right, lower left. If I see my upper right, shows up 22 pounds. Take my weight, place it on a different corner now. Now it's the bottom right. And I see my weight, it's 22 pounds, that's correct. And move my weight to the bottom left. And for me, it's 22 pounds. So this shows that my scale is now reading correctly. I can place the weight in the middle. And the weight is still correct. And I remove the weight, go back to zero. If you notice one of your corners was incorrect, where maybe this one was 22 and the top right was 22, bottom right was 18, bottom left was two, you know that your bottom left load cell is wrong. Either the cable that goes into the junction box was wired wrong or the load cell itself is bad, needs to be replaced. So at least you know what direction to head in. So if you know if it was your lower left or upper right, whatever corner it was, follow the cable to the plate and go inside the junction box and follow that cable. Make sure the wiring is correct. If the wiring is correct, then you need to test the load cell to see if it's bad. You can always call support or email support at optimaskill.com and we could walk you through the steps of testing your load cell to see if it is bad. In that case, you just have to replace the load cell and put a new one. This applies to a 2x2 floor scale, a 4x4, 5x5, it could be any size. But the floor scale will always act the same with floor load cells in each corner and the feet will screw in and all the have a plate where all the wires meet up.